Hello, and this is my lookout for the little guys guide and glitch to help you out with this level in the beginning. Um, real quick, when you first start the level, you can skip the cutscene and then immediately run forward. Otherwise, the sentinels will probably kill you. But, uh, they'll hurt you, that's for sure. But, uh, if you're doing this on the legendary for the other achievement for this level, which is two betrayals, um, you're not supposed to pick up a weapon. But uh, it's a lot harder to do both achievements at once, so uh, do these separately. But um, when you go through this door, there's one elite, a whole bunch of sentinels, and five or so grunts. Uh, what I did, and it seems to work for me every time, is to run and gun the elite and just keep running. Because the grunts will run away in fear and whatnot, and the sentinels will take them out. But uh, this door is where the glitch is. So you need to do this on the exact time. When you press the button, you have to wait till it stops and then press it again. And if you didn't catch that, rewind, do it again. But it only makes it so there's one jackal in this elite. And that's it. And if you want a sniper, there's one up there. For uh, later on. It gets easier to snipe away elites and whatnot. And uh, the fastest way to go down this is to jump down the sides, but slide down the sides. If you completely just jump over it, you will get hurt a lot. See, I didn't even take that much shield damage. But if you were to jump over it, you would be hurt in, in pain. But um, you get a free banshee, and there should have been like tons of grunts and whatnot. But there are none. And this wraith, um, it can't be destroyed. It'll respawn uh, when you need to respawn all the enemies. Because you have fucked up the game so much with that glitch that no enemies will spawn. The game won't let you continue until you spawn up everyone again. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm showing you how to do that. Um, and I'll show you if you did it right or not. But you need to go back into this building and press the button again, which will spawn up the grunts and maybe, yeah, just the grunts, I think, and everyone on that uh, pyramid. And there you spawn them up, but you need to go up immediately. You don't want to splatter a grunt, which is why I almost got myself stuck in this building, because I was afraid of hitting a grunt, especially after doing that glitch so perfectly. But, um... So, I knew about the glitch, but I didn't know that I didn't spawn up the second group of enemies that you need, so I kept going, which is something that you need to do, is spawn up the other enemies. Otherwise, you cannot continue with the level until you do it. And uh, if you go in this building, which is where you need to go, it will tell you uh, that you need to go here, but... You can't do what you need to do, which is blow up this middle thing, generator or whatever, and it'll be glowing so you know if you did it wrong or not. But, so if you messed up, you need to go back, spawn up those guys, but if you already spawned them, you didn't need to do it again. But the second set of enemies that you need to spawn is next to that wraith tank. You, so you need to go back down there, and I think it's right as soon as you get down there they all spawn back up and let's see yeah they do and so now you can continue the level and all you have to do is make sure that you do not hit uh, a grunt and sometimes your auto aim will accidentally do that for you so be careful otherwise you'll have to restart the level um, if you come to with some grunts with a whole bunch of elites around them kill the elites and the grunts will be afraid always because you took out their leader. Oh look, my friend popped up. But uh, he has an achievement guy channel too. But um, so if this is glowing and you can blow it up, you did it right. And then you can get it, continue the level. And that's all I gotta say. So I'm out.